Making jerk chicken is a process. So you you have to understand you're not going to do this in an hour. In fact, it takes two or three days. Uh, the first thing I did was to take chicken quarters. Now you can use whole chicken, you can use chicken breast, whatever you like, but I like, I like chicken quarters because I like dark meat. And I've just separated them and pulled the skin off and trimmed as much fat as possible. I've got two big tubs like this full of chicken and then I've got a third tub that's about a half full because that's going to be the spicier stuff for the people who really want the heat. So we're going to make the basic marinade uh, to accommodate basically almost 20 pounds of chicken. Well, actually a little more than that, about uh, almost 30 pounds of chicken. And then we'll make a hot marinade, just adding some more heat, basically adding more peppers. So let's talk about what goes in this. First of all, you're going to need either scotch bonnet or habanero peppers. Now, I highly recommend before you start getting into these things, you get gloves on because these oils hurt. So for our basic batch, we're going to use about a dozen. And then to heat it up, we're going to add as many again. The next, you're going to have green onions. You're going to need a, at least a whole bunch, maybe two. If they're a little wilted, that's okay because they're going to get ground up in the marinade. You also need red onion. So I like to use a combination of a yellow onion and about a half a red onion. If you want to use more red onion, it's fine. This weird looking stuff is ginger root. You're going to need a couple of good sized knobs of this stuff. Whole garlic. It's going to take about six cloves. You're going to need thyme. You can use dried thyme. You can use fresh thyme. It really doesn't matter. Again, it's getting ground up in the marinade. One of the key ingredients to jerk is allspice. This is Jamaican allspice. It's ground. You can use just the true seeds if you'd rather and grind them that way. It works either way. Brown sugar. Yes, brown sugar goes in jerk. Soy sauce. Now, orange juice. Very important component. Olive oil. You rum. Got to have rum. And I like Myers. I like it because one, it's Jamaican rum. This is Jamaican jerk. Two, it's a molasses based rum. So it's a little heavier. And quite frankly, I like it because pour it in a glass with Coke and it tastes good. You need some ground cinnamon. You need lime juice. On top of lime juice, you're also going to need the zest of a lime. You need a couple of bay leaves. And last but not least, we need some salt and pepper. I've taken my contacts out, put on glasses, and put on gloves. The reason is, I don't want this habanero juice getting in my eyes, and I certainly don't want it getting on my contacts. So, real simple process here. We're just going to take a paring knife and cut the top off the pepper and try not to squeeze it. And then just take this seed section and cut around it like so and just pull it out. If you get a couple seeds still in the bottom, that's okay. You just don't want that giant seed pod in there. And then I'm just going to drop that in the blender. Continue this process. I'm going to put uh, about 12 peppers in here. I'm going to chop up some green onions. They don't have to be chopped up well, just well enough I can get them in the blender and cut the uh, roots off and throw that in here. Next, I'm going to Chop up my red onion just into pieces. Again, that will fit into the blender. Same thing with a white onion, about a half of a white onion chopped up into the blender. Up next, I'm going to break up some garlic into cloves. And all I need to do is get a few cloves out of here. About five or six will do. Peel them as best you can and then drop them in the blender too. I'm going to put in a couple of teaspoons of thyme. Next, we're going to do allspice. And with this, I'm going to need about two tablespoons, about the same amount of brown sugar. Up next, we're going to use a lot of soy sauce, about three quarters of a cup, which is about six ounces of soy sauce. Now we need orange juice. You only need about a quarter of a cup. So that's about two ounces. A little more is okay, but don't do less than two ounces. Olive oil, you need about two ounces of that as well. Now we need some rum. Now you got to use a dark rum for this. If you use a light rum, it's just not going to work. So you're going to need about four to six ounces. And I always like to go on the side of 
more is better. So I'm doing just about, well, it's about seven ounces. Close enough. You need a tablespoon of cinnamon, about a quarter cup or two ounces of lime juice. Oh yeah, you got a zest of lime. Then just drop that zest right in the blender. You're going to need about a half a dozen bay leaves. Finally, grind some salt and pepper. Somehow I almost forgot the ginger. So I'm going to take a couple of knots of ginger that don't have stickers on them from the grocery store and just break those up into smaller pieces like so and throw them in the blender with everything else. Now we're ready to blend. So I let that blend for about three or four minutes so it'd get really smooth because that's kind of important. I'm going to pour myself a drink because now it's time to put the chicken in the marinade or actually the marinade on the chicken. I don't know if there's anything that tastes better than Jamaican rum. Ah, oh, that's so good. All right, so we're going to take this off and get ready for the surprise for your eyes when you take that top off. All you do here is just pour this over the chicken. And then I'm going to rinse this with a little bit of red wine and water and add that as well. So maybe not even a half a cup of red wine, some water. Let this get all through there. Just kind of shake it around a little bit and then let it sit. And it's that's going to sit for at least 24 hours. I prefer to let it sit for about 36, honestly, before it ever goes on the grill. Now I'm going to make that same marinade again with twice the peppers and half the amount for the other box of chicken. Then it's time to cook. You're in a day and a half through the magic of YouTube. So the chicken has been in the marinade almost a day and a half, uh, about 30 hours, give or take. I've got three tubs of it mixed in here. So the uh, tub on the bottom is the extra hot. These two are the regular. My pellet grill is currently heating up to 250 degrees. And we're going to start putting chicken on. Now I'm going to cook the regular heat before I cook the hot because I don't want all that extra heat transferring onto the grill and heating the other chicken. So it is so windy outside that I'm having trouble keeping the temperature on the pellet grill up where I wanted it at 250. So I pushed the heat up to 300 so it'll balance itself somewhere in that 250 to 270 range with the wind blowing that'll still be fine. So I've got a constant wind of about 16 miles an hour gusting to 35. I've pushed the heat up to 300. It's holding right about 275 so that'll work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the chicken at the basic temperature. It's a good idea to wear gloves while you're doing this and of course I didn't, but that's okay. I can wash my hands. I'm not going to hold the, the raw chicken, but you will get some of this hot jerk on you. It does happen. You can probably hear the wind. I guarantee I can feel it. We're just going to start putting chicken in here. And I like to try to pull it off the bottom of the container first. Make sure you got plenty of stuff on it so you can roll it in the sauce on the bottom. And we're just going to fill this grill up like this and let that chicken cook. And just keep repeating this process till we get all the chicken done. Now, I'm, if you notice, I'm trying to make sure it's well coated in the, some of that jerk marinade before I put it on there. Once all the chicken is on the grill, I like to take any of the marinade that's still left and just kind of drizzle it over that chicken. There's no reason to waste that stuff. I want it to cook 
onto the chicken. And we're going to go ahead and close this up and let it cook. This chicken's been cooking for about a half an hour. It's probably about halfway, a little past halfway done. But it's starting to get to the point I want to get some caramelization on it. So you might be able to see some smoke coming through here. I've turned the heat up to 350 because now I want to put some color on it. So let's take a look at what it's looking like. You can see some of that starting to get that real nice blackening color going. I want that look on everything. I want that caramelization and a little bit of charring because that's where your solid flavor is going to come from. So at this point, every so often, you're just going to move this around so that you can get kind of even color distribution. When you got pieces that are starting to fall apart, go ahead and take them off the grill. We're going to set that in reserve. Then before I put any more chicken on here, I'm going to scrape this grill down real good and start my next round. I'll show you what it looks like. I've got a uh, nice aluminum pan here ready to go. You can see that chicken is starting to fall apart. Look at that. And I'll tell you what, that's some good stuff. All right, well, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Well, I changed clothes, right? Took a shower, put the chicken, after it came off the grill, into the oven just on keep warm. So uh, be ready when everybody gets here to eat. But I want to show you what the finished product looks like. So these pans are a little hot. They've been in here at 175 degrees. And if you're going to do this, if you're going to warm it in the oven, put it on keep warm and put a little water in the pan so that the chicken doesn't dry out. This is what it looks like. That's jerk chicken, Jamaican style jerk chicken. Yes, it's a process, a labor of love. Give it a shot. If there's a recipe you'd like me to make, drinks, food, whatever, we're going to be making a lot of drinks tonight. We'll shoot some video. All you got to do is shoot me a line, kansasflamingochef.com. Bill at kansasflamingochef.com is the email. Check me out on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Rumble, wherever else I find. Have a great day. Eat fabulous. I'll see you soon.